Hi, welcome to my channel, Sewing with Mary Rose. In this video, I'm going to show you how to embroider a baby tee. So today I am going to embroider this kind of like a onesie top. It is from Rabbit Skins and it is for 18 months. I'm going to use a medium weight cutaway and I'm also going to use my spray adhesive. And I'm using my PE800 today. I'm going to be using this four by four hoop. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this inside out. I'm going to make sure that this is nice and flat. And if you need to press it, you should do that before you spray it. I have this white cardboard that I use for that purpose. So what I'm going to do is spray it down and then I'm going to put this right on top. Okay, that part is done. You don't want to use too much because then it gets your needle all gummy and then it's really hard to thread. Okay, now I am going to make sure that this is in the middle. So how I like to line things up to make sure that they're in the middle is I fold it. I just fold it in half. Making sure that everything is all lined up and then I just put a crease there. And now you can see I have my center there. And then I'm going to fold that nice and straight. And there you go. I'm going to mark my center here. I'm going to mark that. I'm going to mark that. With my marking pencils. I have different colored ones. I have one from Cricut. I just have all these different ones. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is I am going to hoop underneath. You want to make sure these are pointing downward for the PE 800 and just orient your machines hoop however it needs to be. So these are really important little dots because this is how I'm going to make sure that I'm in the center. When you're hooping, you wanna make sure that you are not hooping it to where you're stretching this material. If you stretch this material, your end project result is not going to look very nice. Okay, there I have my center. And I just need to open this a little. I don't wanna lose my place. I should have unscrewed this earlier. Okay. So, there it is. I am off a little bit, so I'm going to redo this. Going to mark that again because I want 
want to make sure when it is inside my machine that I'm right in the right place. Okay, see how this is really low? I don't want the name to start there. I want it to start up here. So when it is in my machine, I'm going to raise the name, otherwise it's going to be right here. So I will show you how I do that when I get to my machine, but I wanna raise it up so as high as it goes. And this is the area that it can um, embroider in. So I'm going to just go as high as it could go so it will end up being right about here. Okay, now the next thing is you wanna make sure this is really tight. I'm gonna check that. this baby onesie type material it's very thin so you have to be really careful with it I'm going to tighten that up now that screw okay okay now that's not going anywhere You'll need to get the bottom piece out of the way. So what you do is you'll make a little basket around it. So here's my little basket. And I'm just going to fold everything so it doesn't get caught on You want to make sure that it's not going to bump on anything in your machine. So let's get the machine set up. I'm going to load this USB into the USB port right here. Now my machine is on and it is going to move the carriage to calibrate it. I am using my USB, so I'm going to press that USB icon, and I'm here in baby gifts. And this is the item. You'll see that it has a little slash mark through that first area right here. It's saying that it's too big for that. I could either use this 4x4 hoop size or the 5x7 hoop size, and I will be using the 4x4 today. So everything is all ready to go. I just need to change my thread and there is my spool holder. I'm gonna use that pretty green on the bottom. So let me thread my machine. So I have it all threaded up with this pretty green color and I like to pull out the bobbin thread to make sure that it's going to come out okay and that I have good tension. I like to pull on that just to make sure I have good tension. You want to make sure you have enough bobbin thread in there for your project. Now I'm going to load this. But first I'm going to set this. So that is everything I need in there and I'm going to click end edit and embroidery and now it's going to allow me to start my project. I'm going to put my 4x4 hoop onto the machine to the front here. Okay. And remember I told you that I want this name to be uh, moved all the way to the top as far as possible. And how you do that is you go back to this screen and you move this up. So now it's going to move it up as high as it goes. So as you could see here, it did move it up quite a bit from the middle. 
And this is going to be the middle, say, of the A and the D. Looking at this, you'll see it'll end up right about here. Now it is complete and I will just cut off my jump stitches and iron on some cloud cover. Here's the other shirt I made today. I'm going to also put on the back of this the tender touch so that it feels nicer against the skin. I sometimes like to use this Teflon sheet and I think I will be using that today here. So I have my easy press and I'm just going to iron that so we don't burn anything. So here's my shirt. I am going to put the tender touch down. And then I'm going to use my Teflon sheet here. And then I'm going to put my easy press right over that and start the timer. Okay. It's on pretty good, but I am gonna Give it one more press. I want to make sure that lays nice and flat. Okay, push my button. I don't get worried that it's going to burn because this Teflon sheet really helps to protect it. Okay, now let's turn it around and take a look. done. Looks great. And I like to do just one more press on the top to make sure that everything looks nice and flat. So I'm going to use my Teflon sheet and I'm going to use my easy press and I will just give that a little press. and voila it's all done and what I did was I put tender touch on the inside it's just an iron-on to make it nice and soft especially against baby skin if you'd like to see more videos about sewing serging machine embroidery and my Etsy shop please hit the subscribe button and notification bell thanks for watching